I'm Christian Staples with Arctic Spas. Today I want to explain the flow error code that can show up on the screen. The flow error means that there is no water flowing through the heater when pump number one is on. The first thing that you'll want to do, as with any other error code, is to turn the breaker off and back on again. This will reset the spa. If the error code comes back on, then we'll want to determine what the problem is. Most error codes will also not allow the heater to come on, so you may notice a slight drop in the temperature or that the pump is always running. This is normal and will be solved when the error code is fixed. The next step is to see if there is water flow going through the jets when pump number one is on. You'll want to make sure that the pump number one is on and that the triangle icon is blinking, letting you know that it is running in the low speed. At this point, you should see water flow going through the jets and the skimmer. If you do not see any water movement, then the flow error is saying that there is an issue with the pump or the electricity feeding the pump. This is a little bit more complicated to troubleshoot and you'll need to have a voltmeter to know for sure. For this video, we are not going to go into this, but focus on what to do when you do have water flow. So now that we know we have water flow, we'll want to adjust the pressure switch. The pressure switch is located on top of the stainless steel heater. There are two electrical wires that connect to the top. These are low voltage, so you don't need to worry about getting shocked. In the middle of the pressure switch is an adjustment dial or screw, depending on the year of your spa. When you have a flow error, you'll want to turn this screw or dial a half a turn counterclockwise. The flow should go away. If it does not go away, turn it another half turn. If this still does not fix the problem, the next step is to check the wires. Make sure they are making a good connection by unplugging them and reconnecting them on both the pressure switch side and the motherboard side. If this still does not fix the problem, we would recommend replacing the pressure switch. Now to replace the pressure switch, you'll want to turn the breaker off to the spa. Close the water valves on each side of the pump, which is connected to the heater. Remove the wires to the pressure switch. With the new pressure switch, you'll want to Teflon tape the threads. Then unscrew the old pressure switch. You will get some water coming out of the hole. This is normal. Just quickly thread in the new pressure switch. Then connect the wires, open both of the valves, and turn back on the breaker. The new switch should solve the problem. I hope this helps you understand the flow error and how to fix it. If you have any more questions, please call us at 801-483-1001 or email us at support at